age of 12, 13, I started to write my own music, write my own songs and, and put them in a talent quest. And um, I actually won the talent quest and, and there, there were some producers there at the talent quest who were part of a major kids show in Australia, a show called Young Talent Time. When you kind of quickly experience what I experienced at such a young age, you begin to discover that, that money and fame can't fill the void in your heart that, that only a relationship with God can fill, which is what I've discovered. Now, I was trying to fill that void with all kinds of things, with, with cocaine, with speed, with marijuana, with, with alcohol, with LSD, with anything I could put up my nose, and, and all of that didn't fill that hole that, that was within me. I mean, after Young Talent Time, I became a part of a huge show uh, called Neighbours. Neighbours, everybody needs good neighbours, just a friendly wave each morning. What's going on, Mark, on the, on the inside and behind the closed doors and in the private life? Of... I, get, I guess a lot of insecurity, um, trying to make sense of, of my reality although I wasn't in reality a lot of the time because I thought reality was terribly boring. So I started to have suicidal thoughts. Although the real me, the, the core of me, didn't want to die, but wanted to live life to the max, but I couldn't find that anywhere. You then traveled to England, you came yes. to England. You said, you know, things started to get worse for you. Things started to yeah. deteriorate. Um, I finished my time with, with neighbors when I was 19. So I decided to actually move to England and I did pantomime and that's what oh, brought right. me to England. And then after that, I signed a record deal. Well, I had a record deal in Australia, but I signed over here with BMG RCA Records. And so the singing career was starting to take off and, and I was traveling around different clubs in, in the UK. But on the flip side of that, I was getting heavier and heavier into ecstasy uh, and cocaine, and I was a full-blown alcoholic by the time I was 16. I was a messed up kid who was totally lost, who was estranged from my parents and estranged from my brother and sister. Um, I was estranged from even my, myself. And I actually got to the stage where I, I thought, if I'm gonna keep going this way, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna kill myself uh, with this kind of lifestyle. I turned up to this girl's house. She'd invited me to a party at her house. I turned up with my drug dealer and, a, and, and some other friend of his. I turned up four hours late to a party and um, I was blown out of my head on, on all kinds of drugs and I was drunk. Uh, the guys I was with went into her bathroom and started doing heroin. I was taking heroin at the time. And um, they were actually found in her bathroom shooting up. Uh, and she kicked them out of the house and all this commotion was going on. And she pulled me into a room to one side and she confronted me, she eyeballed me. She said, Mark, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> and I remember sliding down the wall, cupping my head in my hands at her house. And I said, I don't know anymore, I'm lost. And you know what I said? I looked up and I said, I think I need God. It just came out of my mouth. <laughs> I mean, she'd never witnessed to me. Yeah. She'd never preached the gospel to me. She'd never told me about Jesus or anything. But I looked up and I said, I think I need God. Talk about God working in someone's life. And then, and then the most unbelievable thing happened. The room filled with the presence of God. And I began to weep and weep and weep. And I looked up and I remember I had my knees in my, my arms and I looked up and I, I shouted, oh God. Oh God, oh God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no way. And I just wept and wept and wept. It was the most amazing moment. And uh, it was awesome. Wow. And I just apologized to God for everything that I'd done. But I met Jesus right there and then. It was the most amazing moment. And um, it changed my life. The next day and the next day and the next day, I wondered when I would want a cigarette or a drink or a drug and it never came.
all, all, all the addictions left me. My addictions had been healed. I was set free. I was delivered. What they call delivered in the church, you yeah. know? I was. <laughs> I was delivered from all that mess right there and then. The Bible says if you call out to God, he'll, he'll save you. You just shout once, tell God you need him once, and he's there. He's there. Turn on light. 